and welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're, I don't even know, episode 5, episode 4, I, I don't know, of our How to Start a Network Server series. Today we're going to be setting up a lobby server. Now, the server itself should already be set up. Check out the last episode on setting up Bungie Cord at the eye at the top of your screen. But in this episode, I'm going to be going over plugins, I'm going to be going over what you need to get your lobby server set up, everything you need to know about getting it up and running as far as even building the lobby and everything. We're going to be covering it all in this video. Before we get into this video though, I want to remind you it is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting, a great place to go host your 24-hour DDoS protected network Minecraft server. If you go over to Apex, they support Bungie Cord right out the gate and they'll help you every step of the way getting your network set up. So be sure to go check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex Network to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected server from Apex Minecraft Hosting. So the first thing you need to do when setting up your lobby server is uh, actually build the lobby itself. Now, here's the deal. There are so many different kinds of lobbies out there. You can go to a place like MC Market, link down below, and buy them. There are tons of options for getting a lobby, but here are some things that you need to know. Most lobbies are going to have portals to the different servers you have on your server. You could do like what we did over at our network server, play.breakdowncraft.com, and actually set up four portals because you plan on expanding to eventually have four different servers right out the gate and just add like multiple porters going to the same server. You can do that if you want, or you can just have one portal and basically they people spawn in and there's one portal and they go through that portal into your server if you're just launching with one game mode like I recommend doing and like what you probably have done. Now if that's not the case then from that point you can kind of expand out as much as you want to go. If you're buying a lobby just make sure it has enough portals to fit all the different servers you have and all the different game modes. If you're not buying a lobby and you're building it yourself just make sure you add in enough of the lobbies that you have. One thing I will say about a lobby I would recommend making it floating in the sky. You can have mountains around you or something that are you've made but overall you want it to be floating in the sky in order to prevent bunches and bunches of unnecessary chunks being loaded, right? So that is a big thing about a lobby. Setting it up in the sky is what I would recommend doing. And uh, yeah, that's basically that when it comes to building it. Everybody's is going to be different. And you've actually been seeing on your screen as I've been talking about this, different lobby examples in Minecraft. So use those as inspiration. Really and truly how your lobby looks is going to depend on your style and what you like. So yeah, building a lobby is kind of the easiest part. Of this process. Most people can figure that part out, but it doesn't need to be done before you can actually set your lobby up. From this point, we need to talk about plugins. Now, on your lobby server, you're gonna have to have a few different plugins, and then there's gonna be some plugins that you could have if you want. We're gonna be focusing on the ones that you have to have today, including you know setting them up or to find files and things of that nature. So, first and foremost is your permissions plugin. Now, this is one that's going to be different for you depending on your server as a whole and the permissions plugin you're using. I'm gonna be doing a video later in this series on setting up luck perms, so you can go check that out at the eye up there. I'll link the playlist with all of these, and once that video is out, it will be in that playlist. So go check that out if you want to know how to set up a lobby permissions with luck perms. If you're using PEX or any other permissions plugin, well then guess what? You're going to have to kind of figure that out yourself, but if you've done permissions on your survival server or any of your servers for that matter, your lobby is pretty much the same. The only thing is you don't want to give people the ability to do things like set home in your lobby or set warps in your lobby. You just want to make it to where they can kind Kind of go slash spawn and that's about it really that's the only thing they need to be able to do is do that and go through portals and do slash server survival or slash server factions right that's all they need to do if you have crate keys they need to be able to open up that but that's just an add-on that most people probably won't have so yeah just basic, basic permissions for your lobby. Do not overcomplicate it. Now, for your server lobby, you're also going to need Essentials, iPortals, which is going to be your portal plugin to get from one server to another, and you're going to need World Edit and World Guard. This is going to end up protecting your server so people don't grief it, right? That's basically what you're going to need, so let's go ahead and set up all of these plugins. When it comes to Essentials, as I said, all you're going to really do here is change, like, your message of the day join message and things like that. As you can see on your screen right now, this is very easy to find. Just Go into your plugins folder and then go into essentials and then find the file there where you can change all the messages it's on the screen right now i think it's the language file it's all there and you can change everything and yeah basically i would go through here and customize all this to give your server a, a unique feel when someone joins into the lobby so great stuff there that's what i would recommend doing and after you've done that essentials is done it's really easy to set up essentials on a lobby server because you're not doing kits or anything like that all you need is basically slash spawn 
And yeah, that's it. Whoa, whoa, hard jump cut there. Sorry about that. I did not intro this well whatsoever. But uh, yeah, so now we're in game. We are in Minecraft here, and uh, I'm setting up iPortal for you guys and kind of giving you a quick tutorial on it. So as you can see here, I've kind of created this portal. The only notes I would make is that it's a lot easier to use iPortal if your portal like has a, a wall up next to it. As you can see, if we come over here to this portal, it, it, it does have a wall that's square behind it. If it doesn't and it's like an open portal, that's fine. It's just going to be a little more difficult to set up. You would have to do like, you know, this line right here and then do that row up at the top and then do the big square at the bottom. It makes things a little bit more difficult. But all we want to do real quick is just do slash I portal space wand exactly like that. And that's going to give us a blaze rod. This is actually the I portal wand here. Then you want to come down here in the bottom left corner and right click on it, right like so. And then go up to the top uh, right corner and uh, left click on that, right like so. That's just like World Eddie. You're setting your first position and your second position. Now, what you want to do is go into chat here and type slash I portal space create. And then you want to name this something. Whatever you want to name it, it doesn't matter, but you will need your name later. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this test portal one. Just that way I know what that is. Then you want to just type space and then type in bungee. Exactly like that. So basically what this means is this is an iPortal, right? So iPortal, we are creating a new portal. We're giving that portal a name and we'll need that name later. So again, make sure you know it. And then we're making this a bungee portal. Then you want to go ahead and hit enter. So boom, a portal is created. But if we go into this portal, it's not going to work. Sorry, this portal is currently not ready. What? Okay, well, we need to configure it. No big deal. You just want to type slash I portal, exactly like that, and then put another space. Then you want to do set to, all one word, set to, all one word, space, and then you want to do the name of the portal, right? This was test portal one, but yours may be called something different. And then you want to set it to whatever the name of your Bungie server is, right? In our case, it's survival. Yours might be faction, skyblock, whatever it is. You want to type that here in our case. Survival, exactly like that. Then hit enter and boom, test portal once target has been set. We can go ahead, step into here, and now it will take us over into our survival world where uh, this is this is a sugar cane farm. We do slash spawn here. We'll be able to see this is our survival world spawn. Looking pretty spiffy, guys. Looking pretty spiffy. So yeah, that's how you can set that up. That is how you can get that rocking and rolling. Enjoy your new portal. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. Boom! Thanks, future Nick, for passing that over to me, who's recording all the face cam stuff before I recorded that clip you just saw. But, 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 we still need to look at two more plugins, World Edit and World Guard, both of which are must-haves on a lobby server. The only reason you need World Edit, by the way, is because it's required for World Guard, and once you install both of these, really and truly, you uh, don't need to do any config. Their config files are perfect right out the gate for lobby servers. You don't need to change anything. Don't overcomplicate it. But... World Guard on your server is going to take some configuration. We need to actually go ahead and set up your lobby on uh, on the server, right, and protect everything. So uh, yeah, let's 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 go do that. So once you've created your beautiful lobby, as this one is, I mean, look at this emerald house and everything here. Just a big stone a stone pad floating in the sky. This is the perfect lobby for your server, basically. Once you have created it, what we want to do is come to one corner, right of your, your spawn, and click on it with your left mouse. And then you want to come over to the other corner, the opposite corner, and right click it on your mouse. And then you want to do slash slash expand space vert. Basically, that's going to expand it all the way to the sky and all the way to the bedrock. And now that you have that, all you're going to want to do, and, and, and this is very, very complicated, is just do slash region, right? Region, space, create, and then you want to name this region. You will need to remember this name, so name it something you can remember. I'm just going to do test spawn 2. Right like that. Test spawn 2 and hit enter. And there we go. A new region has been named test spawn 2. You see that? Now, this is protected, right? If I de opt myself, which I'm going to do, I have to do a jump cut to re opt myself, but if I de opt myself here, I won't be able to break any of these blocks. I'm in creative, right? But boom, these blocks cannot be broken because I don't have the permissions to do them. Only operators do. And uh, yeah, that's basically that, right? So let me go re opt myself real quick and I'll show you guys uh, how to turn off things like PvP in addition to uh, stop mobs from spawning in your spawn and things. But at this point, it's protected, right? You just uh, have will have mobs spawning and 
people can PvP possibly and things like that. So give me one second, quick jump cut to uh, re opt myself. All right, so I am now re opt. Pretty simple stuff there. But now that we're back in the game here and I am re opt, all we need to do is turn off PvP and stop mobs from spawning. I'm also going to link all of the world guard flags down below in the description if you want to go down there. And some of them may work for your specific server. This one may not. Maybe you want PvP in your spawn. But basically, there's tons of different options. But to set a flag, it's pretty simple. Just do slash region, right? Space flag. Then you want to type the name of your region. In our case, that's test spawn 2. And then now you want to type PvP space deny. Hit enter and boom. Now, current flags PvP deny. Right now, people can't PvP. If you wanted to change it to where they could, you would just do slash, or slash region space flag space name of your region space PVP, and then you would name put allow right. And and now PVP is allowed in this area, but uh, I, I I don't want PVP in the spawn right. So we want to do deny. Now let's say we don't want mobs to spawn. We're going to do the same thing slash region, and then we want to do space flag, and then we'll need to do the name of that region. That's going to be test spawn two and then you want to type mob dash spawning and then again you want to type deny right so space deny so slash region space flag space the name of your region space mob dash spawning space deny and then hit enter and boom mob spawning is now not allowed in this region there are tons and tons maybe even over a hundred world guard flags than you can do so i would recommend checking them out in the description down below but that is how you can protect your spawn with world guard go ahead pass it back to nick for the rest of the video and now that you've got world guard set up guess what your server lobby is set up you've got it built you've got it spawn protected you've set your spawn I think everything's done there. Yeah, that's everything. Now, there are some fluff that you could add in. You could add in holographic displays of, like, text showing up like we have if you wanted to. You could also add in crate keys. You could add in the server changing compass, right? I'm sure you've seen that on many of the popular servers out there. That's a thing that you could add in. It's linked down below, and that'll take a bit of configuration. But overall, nothing too crazy. And overall, you can add in any more or any less plugins that you want, as long as you have, again, Essentials World Guard and then probably some sort of a portals plug-in. All those are recommended and I would keep them, but anything else is basically whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Your chat plugins here are using multi-chat. You're going to want to put that on your lobby so you can see when people join your lobby and see when they talk in the lobby and things like that. If you're not using multi-chat, you won't need that. See how this works? Basically, whatever you want to do there is, uh, is okay, right? I'll link some other like potential plugins you could have on your lobby server in the description down below but at this point your lobby has been set up so congratulations flipping nations if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome videos exactly like this on server admin stuff and minecraft let's plays and tech videos we, we've got it all here and you will absolutely love it so be sure to like and subscribe anyway guys my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out guys peace